He is one of the heads of the influential Barakzai tribe, a Pashtun. He is known as the bulldozer because of how he brings results, quickly but with little patience for detail. Gul Arashurzai is the governor of the eastern province of Nanganghar. He is now considering running for the presidency because he believes he knows how to govern Afghanistan. The tribes, the elders, the religious scholars, they are an important part of the process and we should be using them to bring peace. Afghanistan is a tribal community. That has been his policy as governor, a policy that has brought relative stability to Nangarhar and the province is now almost drug free. He has achieved it by bringing the tribal elders into the process. It is about relying on traditional ways, Gul Agha says. That's how all of Afghanistan should be run. If I am president, I will get rid of drug cultivation in Afghanistan in a year. The way to do this is to give tribal elders that responsibility and provide them with an alternative to give their people. A promise difficult to keep in a country that produces more than 90% of the world's supply of opium. And as he unofficially starts his presidential campaign, his ways have been criticized by some. Gul Agha has been accused of corruption, involvement in the drug trade and brutal tactics, especially when governor of Kandahar province in the years after the Taliban's overthrow. When we ask him about his reputation as a warlord, he dismisses it. What is the meaning of a warlord? I am a Mujahid. I fought for my country just like all Afghans. I challenged the world to bring evidence against me. Over two days we spent with him, it has become obvious he has the support from across the country. These men, prominent Mujahideen fighters from the north, proof, Gul Agha says, that his influence extends far beyond his homeland in the Pashtun south. He is a confident man, confident that he has the support of the people. Tribal elders from regions bordering Pakistan have just appointed him the head of Afghanistan's peace jirga. There is a desire for peace and many think Gul Agha Shirzai can achieve it. The Taliban, those who don't have blood on their hands, he says, can be brought into the political process through consultations with tribal elders. He may not be your distinguished dignitary, nor a graduate from a prestigious university, but he likes to think of himself as the man of the people, a man who knows how to rule this country, leaving many to wonder whether Gul Agha's style of governance is the answer for Afghanistan. Zena Khudur, El Jazeera, Jalalabad, Nangarhar Province.